Let's get more on the Pope's final day in public. Father John Sear is a Catholic priest at St. Patrick Catholic Church in Tolono in Illinois. Thank you very much for giving us your time. What do you make of the Pope's decision to go? What do you hope for from his successor? Well, we're sad to see him go, but of course he has the, the prayers and support of the church as, as Pope. If he decides to resign as he has, then uh, we assure him of our, our prayers. Obviously, his health, uh, he has said his health no longer allows him to lead as he would like. So after much prayer and consultation, he has decided to resign. And of course, a historic event in the life of the church, uh, a pope resigning, it's historic. His uh, successor, I believe, will continue on with the great tradition of Pope John Paul II and of course, Pope Benedict, um, the continuation of church doctrine and the continuation of uh, how the church runs. Can I ask you, he of course has appointed the majority of the cardinals who will choose his successor. Where do you expect the next pope to come from? Well, that's, of course, everybody's uh, speculation. We believe, obviously, ultimately, it's the Holy Spirit guiding the, those cardinals. Now, I haven't studied uh, the history of it closely recently, but, of course, many or most, but majority, have come from Italy throughout the history of the church. So I guess uh, most likely we could say it's to be an Italian. Uh, but, of course, as an American, uh, a little bit of uh, hometown pride would say it'd be nice to see an American pope. I don't think it'll happen, but, uh, yeah, it's lots of speculations of... And, of course, you might say, too, in the sense of the tradition or the history of it, top-ranking Vatican cardinals often have the more ex have the experience, so to speak, to, to step into the job. Of course, there's lots of excitement about perhaps a pope from another country, Canada, South America, uh, Africa, the Philippines. I think that could be very exciting in the missionary uh, perspective of the church, the international perspective of the church. Uh, to bring the, a cardinal from afar in to the Vatican, I think, would be exciting. Uh, as far as the administrative functional side, uh, inside Italian, Vatican, you might say it might run more smoothly with that transition, but uh, either way, it's the Holy Spirit uh, guiding our church. Uh, Father, you know there's much talk of the church in crisis, yet of course it is growing strongly in Latin America, in Africa, and in Asia. When he was speaking today, he spoke of choppy waters during his papacy. I was looking at one point at Twitter. Now, this was a disrespectful tweet, but it is the world you've got to deal with. There's a newspaper columnist in this country, and she said, Oh, Benedict, honey, God wasn't sleeping. God was actually not existing. Now, do you feel that the Pope, as it, that the church as it is at the moment, and the next Pope is really equipped to deal with that kind of opinion, that kind of world? Uh, I wasn't sure I followed the quote, to be honest with you, but atheism, kind of atheistic perspective, is that the... Well, just the notion that, that God and perhaps the, the Roman Catholic Church, perhaps religion as a whole, is not really relevant to the modern world. How do you deal with people who feel like that? Because there are many of them. Yes, you're right. Uh, growing atheism, growing secularism. And I think you're right. Even John Paul II admitted the church is struggling uh, to respond, is struggling to uh, grapple with that reality of growing atheism. Uh, I think, right, uh, the next pope will do his best as well to chip away at it. I suppose as a, I'm 38, so you might say a younger priest, I suppose it's younger Catholics, young adults in their 20s and even teenagers that need to be engaged in their faith uh, to bring our faith uh, to light, to excitement. Uh, and of course, we have the great wisdom of cardinals and popes, but their age, we might say, of course, limits them in some sense to truly engage the youth. Uh, they, they try, but I do believe it's our younger priests, younger religious sisters, teenagers, that really, the prayer, that they would get excited about their faith and engage their friends and, and family. Father John Sear, really good to talk to you. Thanks very much.